obviously you may not be interested in all of these uh, carbon footprints we are looking at but for completeness sake uh, of uh, covering the book I'm going to go through all of them so obviously you can pick and choose. Uh, next up on our list of greater than uh, 1 or 10 uh, greater than 100 grams to 1 kilogram is uh, a letter which we mentioned in the context of emails for example uh, and messages. Uh, so letter 140 grams of CO2 equivalent uh, is uh, associated with the 10 gram letter made from recycled paper and then the paper is recycled by you uh, okay so how many of you recycle paper well in India it tends to they tend to get used for wrapping up groceries and little items uh, vegetables whatever but now less and less people are uh, relying on paper and just uh, even the vendors are mostly using other things not all environmentally friendly 200 gram CO2 equivalent if you are, if it's a typical 25 gram letter printed on virgin paper and sent to landfill okay 1600 grams uh, or 3.5 pounds of CO2 equivalent if it's a small catalog sent to landfill uh, in the US hardly anybody writes letters uh, but you get enormous amount of junk mail which nobody reads the people uh, take it out of the mailbox because it fills up the mailbox very quickly and then people just dump it and a lot of those are uh, glossy covered with all kinds of chemicals to make them bright and shiny and many of them actually don't biodegrade uh, at least not as fast as the normal paper so if you have five letters delivered per day plus two catalogs per week that's a massive 480 kg of CO2 equivalent per year nearly five percent of a 10 ton lifestyle you can design for yourself okay so uh, people don't even buy many printed books anymore you can buy digital books and carry it on your uh, iPad or laptop or some other kind of a tablet uh, traveling is made easier you would travel with suitcase full of books and papers before but now you can just carry a tablet right but other factors associated with mail mail clocks uh, Mail clocks up a carbon footprint in four basic ways. We'll look at a figure next. Paper production. The carbon footprint of paper manufacture depends on the recycled content, the quality of the paper, and the efficiency of the mill itself. The junk mail coming through our door generally uses high quality stuff and doesn't tend to boast any recycled credentials. My estimates are based on uh, paper that has a less uh, less than one-fifth recycled content that gives it a footprint of 2.35 kilogram CO2 equivalent per kilo the best estimate for pure virgin uh, paper comes in at 2.59 kilogram per uh, kilo of paper and 100% recycled paper at about half of that it takes about half as much energy to create new paper from old paper as it does to create new paper from trees from scratch so the exact numbers don't matter but you should remember that paper is a massive uh, environmental has a massive environmental uh, footprint printing for the footprint of printing on the paper to turn into turn it into glossy and enticing sales literature I estimate an additional 350 gram CO2 equivalents per kilo so those chemicals uh, I would also worry about how they make paper uh, biodegrade slowly or not biodegrade at all okay uh, postage for a standard letter this accounts for most of the footprint uh, it's impossibly difficult to trace the carbon footprint of mailing a letter by direct means however if you take the footprint of the postal services sector as a whole and divide it by the turnover of that sector you can get a broad idea of the carbon footprint per unit of cost in the UK it comes out at about 380 grams CO2 equivalent per uh, one pound spent uh, a 25 gram regular mail uh, letter would have cost 32 pence uh, 
or 48 cents and we can associate a carbon footprint of about 120 CO2 equivalent uh, 120 gram CO2 equivalent with that so most of the impact of a junk letter comes from the burden that it places on the whole infrastructure of the postal system vans trains and sorting offices okay decomposition a good deal of junk mail ends up in landfill where it decomposes anaerobically and produces methane if at all it biodegrades for this i have allowed 550 gram co2 equivalent per kilo of paper 10 if you can prevent this of course by recycling as much as possible this is okay to do even if the letter has a plastic window but do remove the, uh, any of the plastic <laughs> <coughs> such as film wrap. Sorry about that. So here is a figure showing that postage is most of the uh, carbon footprint of a 25, 25 gram letter, landfill impacts, paper and printing. Okay. <coughs> carrots. One kilogram of carrots. Who doesn't love carrots? But eat them uncooked then it's much better for uh, the environment uh, 0.25 kilograms of co2 equivalent if it's local and in season 0.3 kilograms co2 equivalent uh, on average 1 kilogram co2 equivalent if it's shipped uh, baby carrots uh, so a bag of carrots is like a 2 mile train ride uh, carrots are good for you and most of the roots uh, are good for the environment uh, generally in terms of putting uh, carbon into the soil, putting nutrients into the soil, supporting other microbes and uh, being good for us uh, as well. Newspaper is another bad story. Printed newspapers still go on and shamefully they uh, often trick you by saying if you just take the digital version uh, it'll be one price, if you just take the print version it'll be one price and then they offer combined digital and print version with some words about access to archives and so on which will be higher than each individually this is a marketing trick that is well known but obviously it works many people fall for it so just looking at the numbers it depends on whether it's uh, UK's Guardian Weekly that's recycled uh, Globe and Mail Saturday edition that's recycled New York Times weekday edition uh, so weekday editions are much 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 lighter than uh, weekend editions and you cannot find anybody who reads all sections of a weekend edition they are massive and they weigh a lot right and they have lots of marketing material as well uh, just like junk mail you get in the uh, postal service UK Guardian Daily Recycle, New York Times Sunday Edition Recycle, New York Times Sunday Edition checked into landfill and a typical British weekend broadsheet paper sent to landfill. And you can see the range here from 0.3 kilogram to 4.1 kilogram. New York Times, which is so good at covering the environmental and uh, climate uh, issues including the science, the solutions, the extremes, uh, policies, government decisions and so on uh, still amuses me because it keeps on putting personalized ads every time I open uh, the newspaper online because they also know I'm sitting in India so they will put Indian ads in other words the business model of making money by selling commercials uh, obviously uh, is very favorable for increasing consumption but the paper is very uh, fanatic about saying climate change is bad and only quotes well mostly quotes scientists who give very good alarming messages okay there I said it I estimate that the New York Times every day including Sundays adds up to 207 kilograms CO2 equivalent per year if you recycle them all or 447 kilograms CO2 equivalent if you check them in a garbage bin and off to landfill. The latter is equivalent to flying from New York to Atlanta and back uh, or from San Francisco to Vancouver. Can you imagine? New York Times, I hope you are paying attention. Uh, someday maybe all the print editions will disappear but till then we are dealing with, you know, there are many people who 
prefer to sit with the newspaper and a cup of coffee on the veranda or on the balcony and read. Obviously, this kind of personal com uh, uh, um, comfort or personal preference cannot be dismissed, but nonetheless, be aware of the newspapers uh, producing massive carbon footprints. So the carbon footprint of a weekend newspaper sending paper to landfills causes methane emissions and means that more carbon intensive virgin paper has to be produced. So here we are in gram CO2 equivalent. Uh, what is coming from printing, transport to ra uh, landfill and recycling, landfill emissions, production and tree harvesting and transport. So you can see that the tree harvesting itself is not that big of a, a deal, but production, uh, landfill emissions, transport to land, uh, landfills or recycling and printing are adding massive amounts of uh, carbon footprint. If you recycle it, obviously you uh, let more than uh, halve the total uh, carbon emissions, so obviously the message is clear. If you really love sitting and reading newspapers, maybe you can avoid the weekend edition and you, you would recycle everything and uh, you would be um, hopefully transitioning to uh, online at some point uh, if you are bothered by the carbon footprint. Okay, so we'll come back and look at a few other things and keep moving to higher and higher carbon footprints. Uh, hopefully um, it provides some additional information that just raises flags for you with each action you take and that's the only point, not to make you uh, change be behavior or uh, make you feel guilty but to think through uh, everything uh, we do, right?